hello viewers welcome to my gis learning channel today we will learn how to forecast population so that you will know how population gonna be in near future so let's start here is our um, population data in excel file here we have population from uh, 1950 to 2020 and this is the urban area total population population are divided into two category male and female in same year and same urban area so our first step will be convert this excel file into csv file just save it as csv save it yes and then close it now you will find this csv file here that contain the population data now just drag and drop it here okay let's check out our csv file here we have all the column that we need to focus the population now our first step we will add this csv file into geo database here so that it will automatically create object id just export this data and keep this as same here is our geo database file name export it now remove this format remove this file and open our uh, population data here you will see that object id is automatically added here object id column now as we relate this population data into our country boundary shape file we need one common column in both of this data here let's say we'll create this short name and based on this short name column this population data will relate or join in this column so in order to create a new field we have to select on this add field now rename this field short name and data type will be text okay and save it so here is our short name column and now we will add urban area from here to here using field calculator Here uh, we have first three character so we'll select this column I'm showing you how to select this just double click here and in order to select the first three character you have to choose this option slice option and type here three then apply it now close it so here is our short name column our next step will be creating a space time cube using these two data in the geo processing tab type here create space time cube and select this option create space time cube from defined location our input feature will be this one the boundary shape file and the output space time cube type here name let's say bd population cube and the location id this is the short name and the relate table it will be our this data population data and related location id it will be relate based on this short name and temporal aggregation if you check this option the space time cube will temporally aggregate your feature based on the time step interval you provide basically suppose you have uh, population data monthly basis you can convert that to yearly the time field will select this date okay here this date column you have to choose this and one thing you should uh, know here the data type need to be in date format okay and the time interval 
let's say one so it will aggregate and the data in one year interval here i'm selecting the years keep this as default in the summer field i will aggregate urban area population data this uh, i prepared only for this uh, tutorial purpose and the statistic it will be the sum so it will aggregate total population and the empty bins if there is no data it will fill with this zero and uh, after input all this required information click on run here is our uh, bd population cube uh, let's visualize that space-time cube data in 2d okay so type here this one visualize space-time cube in 2d the input space-time cube we have to choose um, this one bd population cube that we create recently select this one the cube variable you will automatically find this option urban area population sum and zeros display theme select this one trends this will show you where values have been increasing and decreasing over time now check this option enable time series pop-ups and the output feature rename this bd population cube visualize then click on run so here is our data now you will find this information here all the population data are of male and female are aggregated yearly basis here this is the 1969 population data 1971 population data up to 2020 so our next step go to uh, this option space time pattern mining tool and uh, select this option time series forecasting first we will select this method car fit forecast we have to input recently created space time cube this one bd population cube and the analysis variable select this one okay urban area population sum zero number of time step to forecast here i have population data uh, up to 2020 let's say you want to forecast this population data up to 2030 here you have to type 10 so that it will forecast the population up to 2030 if you want to forecast this uh, to up to 2040 then you have to uh, increase uh, the uh, time step accordingly here output feature just rename this output feature and copy this and output space time cube option just paste the uh, this name here and curve type uh, select this one auto detect so it will uh, automatically select which method work based for each location and the number of time step to explode for validation to appear 10 if you want to know detail about this method you can check out my blog i will provide a link in the description below you can uh, download the data from there and also find detailed information of the, uh, each method how this method work actually after uh, importing all the information here just click on run let's turn off this layer and uh, select this one so here this forecast method is based on parabolic so here parabolic mathematical model work based here is our forecasted population and if you select here a linear model feed based in order to focus the population it will automatically detect which mo mathematical model work based in order to focus the population now we will select this one exponential smoothing forecast it is very popular method in time series analysis basically it break the time series uh, into different component it considered the time series characteristic 
such as level it also considered the time series trend and seasonality and all these are considered while creating the forecast value and it also create a confidence interval about um, estimated values which gives us the possible range where the true value could be and it is highly suitable for seasonal data like population confirmed case of COVID-19 you can use this method so in the input space time cube we have to select this one bd population cube that we create and very fast of this tutorial bd population cube and the analysis variable select this one number of time steps to forecast type here 10 so it will forecast uh, up to 2030 uh, output feature just rename this copy this one and paste it here so it will create a cube seasonal length just keep this as empty so then this uh, software will automatically calculate that number of time step to exclude for validation the team number of training data after filling all this information click on run and uh, select this one and if you select in this area you will find not only the forecasted value you also find the confidence interval the maximum value and minimum value where the true value can be okay now we will use this method forest based forecast basically and uh, this will use an adapted random forest algorithm to train the space time data based on time windows and forecast future time slice for each location uh, similar to the previous one in the input space time cube we will select this one bd population cube analysis variable is this one number of time step to forecast let's say 10 output feature bd population just rename this copy this and paste it here and keep this as default number of time step to exclude for validation keep this as same as before I keep um, all this as default okay after com uh, completing all this step click on run uh, let's check out our newly created layer this way you can also find a forecast population up to 2030 and here you also see the confidence interval that is the range the high value and low value our last step we will use this option evaluate forecast by location basically and uh, this uh, method works on all three of the input cube on a location by location basis and picks the best forecast for each location here we will select these three time space cube and it will automatically tell us which method work based uh, for each location we we'll select this all these three options this is the car fit forecast exponential smoothing forecast forest base forecast click on this actually we do not know which method uh, we will choose but you, you don't need to be worried about this because the software will do it for you and the output feature let will just rename this bd population let forecast just copy this one and paste it here here uh, check this option evaluate using validation result okay uh, you will find uh, more information here if you check this and the forecast method will be determined using the smallest validation RMSC and if you uncheck this the forecast method will be determined using the smallest forecast RMSC the validation RMSC it basically measure how well the model can forecast 
and the forecast RMEC it basically measure how well the model fit if your goal is to forecast as accurately as possible then you should choose this one validation RMEC that means you should check this one but if your goal is to just explore the analysis okay then you can choose this one in my case i want to forecast the population as accurately as possible so i am uh, check this option okay after inserting all the required information click on run here is our final data now if you select on each location you will find this graph and uh, here all these three mathematical model you will find and you see here exponential smoothing fit based in this model okay and forecast the value accordingly if you select here you will see here the linear model fit based okay here you see the parabolic uh, mathematical model uh, fit based in order to uh, forecast this model here and give the uh, forecasted value accordingly and uh, so in this way you can forecast the population up to um, your defined year if you check the attribute table you will see the forecasted population of the urban area 2021 2022 this is the amount up to 2030 for each geographic location so in this way you can forecast this uh, total population and, and the same way you can also forecast the total number of covid confirmed case if you have the uh, necessary data hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will provide a link in the description below uh, from where you can download the data if you want to practice this at home thanks for watching